Welcome to Sports Time. Alongside Jack Cognetta, I'm Jeff Hansel. And Jeff, a pretty busy week in football. We got a lot to get to, and we're going to start with Fort Lee and Englewood. And you know, Jeff, the last time Englewood made the state football playoffs, Britney Spears' Hit Me Baby One More Time was one of the top songs. You know what year that was? 1999? What a guess. Come on. Would you look that up beforehand or what? <laughs> well, I know because I think that was like the first year I was working here, so it's been a long time. Huh? <laughs> that is a pretty long time. I think I was in puberty when that song came out. But anyway, Englewood looking to make the state football playoffs for the first time since 99, and they're off to a pretty good start, Jeff. They're 2-1 and one on the season, and they were taking on Fort Lee, looking for their first win of the season. It's our Game of the Week. Englewood Eagle and the Maroon Raider cheerleaders know Englewood is off to a good start. The Raiders 2-1 to start the season. And there's their go-to guy, Michael Robinson. He's one of the top football players in all of North Jersey. Guys, Woo! you're playing like it's your last, like you talked about all week. Like it's your last game you're going to play. Think about it, baby. Okay? Think now about you do this. Woo! Okay, you step off the field. We need a good Let's take off for time. Fort Lee head football coach Joe Trainer going nuts, getting his team fired up, and they would need every bit of motivation. Second quarter, Bridgman already down 7 0. Englewood driving. Michael Robinson rolls out, and he's going to find Marvin Whitley for a big first down. Yes, sir. Maroon Raiders driving and in the red zone. Couple of plays later, here's a name we're going to say a lot in this highlight Marquise. Horn, end zone, touchdown, Englewood up 13-0 early in the second quarter, and it's looking like a blowout, but Fort Lee's defense with some other ideas. Next Englewood possession, Michael Robinson picked by John Gallo. He brings it all the way out to midfield, and the Bridgman with something cooking, they're in business. On Fort Lee's possession, their quarterback, though, pressured by the Englewood defense and taken down by Brandon Macon. Fort Lee can't score, and it's 13-0 at the half. Third quarter now, Englewood back on the attack, and it's Marquise Horn again. His second touchdown of the night. He had more than 100 yards on the ground. Maroon Raiders in cruise control, up 20-0. But Fort Lee not out of the woods yet. Bridgman out of punt. Watch Englewood's Michael Robinson. He can't handle the return. Fort Lee recovers the football inside the five. Golden opportunity for the Bridgman. They start at the five and they finish it. T.J. Thorpe runs it in and just like that, Fort Lee on the scoreboard and right back in it, down just two touchdowns. It's 20 to seven, but it would be too much Englewood. And Marquise Horn, his third touchdown of the game. Maroon Raiders up three scores now. It's 27-7. Fourth quarter, more from Englewood. Michael Robinson showing why he's a top athlete in North Jersey. He can throw the football as a quarterback, and he can catch and run, too. Takes Brandon Goodman's pass into the end zone for the touchdown. Raiders take a commanding 33-7 lead, but Fort Lee still fighting. On their next possession, big pass play to John Bronchett. Fort Lee's quarterback feeling it. Next play from scrimmage, it's going to be a big pass to Ace Palakowski. He keeps his feet in for the touchdown. Bridgman put up 14 points on the board, but it's not nearly enough as Englewood wins 40 to 14 and improves to three and one on the season. And if you want to watch more of this game, now you can on Sports Time Plus, Wednesday and Thursday, immediately following the regular edition of Sports Time right here on Channel 10. Sports Time Plus features a special half-hour edition of the Fort Lee Englewood football game, so check us out, Sports Time Plus, Wednesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. on Channel 10, and also available 24-7 on demand, Channel 1111 only on Time Warner Cable. Cliffside Park taking on Rutherford before the game, the Raiders honoring Douglas Morales, who lost his life after getting injured during a football practice about a month ago. The Raiders officially retiring his jersey, number 27, Douglas's parents, and his brother Wilbur on hand for the ceremony. The Raiders 
also looking to honor Douglas by getting their first win of the season, taking on Rutherford. But the Bulldogs will be tough. First quarter, Rutherford facing fourth down. David Milne says no biggie. Finds Peter Hartman for the first down. And then a few plays later, number 40 punches it in, and the Bulldogs up 7 nothing. We're still in the first, and Cliffside Park quarterback Josh Alvarez gets hammered. Ball is loose. Bulldogs recover, and they would take advantage. A couple of plays later on their possession, David Milne is going to find the sophomore, Laron Dillard, and Rutherford takes a 14-0 lead after one quarter of play. Second quarter now, CP catches a break. On a punt return, watch this. The ball is going to bounce off the hands of Laron Dillard, and here comes the big fella. Alan Yelegan gobbles it up. All six foot four, 265 pounds of him. And CP with a golden opportunity to get right back into this game. Red Raiders driving. But Josh Alvarez's pass goes through the hands of Nick Price. Raiders can't convert and have to punt. It's still 14 zip. CP hoping to catch some fire. Maybe it'll come from the grill. CP boys coach Jim Fusey. Coach of the boys' soccer team, flipping some burgers and dogs. He tells us they're the best in Bergen County. Meanwhile, no need for Rutherford to fire up the grill. They're already hot. It's Milne to Thomas Allen for the score. And Rutherford takes care of Cliffside Park, 35-6. All right, Jack. In other BCSL American football action, Ridgefield Park knocked off Tenafly 27-7. So the Scarlets improved to 2-2 two and, two and will next face Dumont on Friday night. Meanwhile, the Tigers suffered their first loss of the season to fall to 3-1. For more information and to watch complete episodes of Sports Time on the web, visit our website, njsportstime.com, or go to our YouTube page, youtube.com slash New Jersey Sports Time. All right, Jack and I must step aside for our first timeouts. When we return, we'll have volleyball action for you and head back to the gridiron for football as well. And the Bergen County Girls Soccer Tournament underway. Can Fort Lee upset the number three team, Ridgewood? Find out a little bit later. 